Welcome back, everybody, to Unconditional Surrender in Europe, uh, published by GMT Games, designed by Salvatore Vasta. We are going into the December of 1941 turn. Um, quick recap. The Germans uh, did in West invaded. They took out the Netherlands with a pair drop on Rotterdam. Uh, first time we've seen it done that way. Tend to work, tended to work. He killed the Belgian infantry that was in the swamp hex here. So that is uh, now something I can build in my mobilization phase. Um, so, yeah, here we go. And we start off with, uh, I think we're going to start off with the weather rolls. So I'll get those up right away. Uh, and nothing there we go I think we may have already done the weather die roll again I think we so we're playing both are playing it we've gone all the way to the strategic warfare phase we went by weather and there was no declarations of war again I think I started a little bit after um, we started so we both played our events, so we're both going to be halved on the die roll here. Um, the weather did come up severe in the cold and the mild zone, and it's fair in the warm zone, but right now we don't have anything going on in the warm zone. So, um, so this is strategic warfare phase here. Um, so he was set to a... One. I don't know why I set him to one. He didn't have an airplane in Stravenger. He should have been at zero. Four plus one half to two and a half becomes a three. I rolled a six half becomes a three, so the result's the same, but he really shouldn't be at plus one because he doesn't have an airplane up there anymore. Uh, and then this was his die roll again. He rolls the attacker die roll. Uh, submarines are coming back in six turns, and I rolled a two for my ultra. It comes back in two turns. Get those up on the turn track. And go to strategic movement. He just strategically moved his, air, his uh, armor up. Um, you know, he's still at 24. I'm at 16 for both of mine, and the Russians are at... 15 because they gave one to the Turks. Keeping the Turks at their three three points. Um, oh, why am I bringing that up? Okay, here we go. Uh, no, I think I'm going to actually do a strategic move here. Yeah, I pick up the... Uh, guy that was up in Bag uh, in Iraq and I bring him down to Cairo Soviets I think are just picking up a guy that's you know way far back and moving him forward and now we're into Axis operations the ninth army wherever it is ah it's down here and I think he, yeah, he's going to try and get me to retreat in severe weather. Because we don't have any tanks, we don't have any airplanes, nothing matters. So he ends up, I'm at two, he's at, starts at two. Uh, three, four, minus one for the city. So he's at plus three, I'm at plus two, and we're both halved. I he placed salt markers, but he did. Uh, so he rolled a 5 plus 3, which is an 8, half down to a 4. I rolled a 3 plus 2 is 5, half to 2.5, runs up to a 3, and a 4 to a 3 is no event. So we just took care of that, and then he moved. Uh, 
Oh, he didn't move him. He, we were just setting stuff there. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, that infantry moved back to the east. This infantry also moved back to the east. And this army moved off into the east as well. And another German army just basically starting to set up his eastern defense lines. Oops, I'm already in diplomacy. Uh, we are pulling out um, the stuff because it's been a while since we played. Um, he had three possibility of successes with two no events. So and a and a pro marker. So three three against him, three for him, fifty fifty shot. He put stuff in. I think he was looking to see if he should spend money on moving infantry around. Diplomacy cup off of here. <clears throat> so he's moving Yugoslavs around to start heading back towards uh, the east. Then he was done uh, the west. Did I do anything? Oh, yeah. I moved that guy via convoy to there. I don't know. I think that was all I did. Oh no, then I moved the Gibraltar. Uh, guy to here. Yeah, I had to move one point to move the convoy to Tunis and then move him back to Iran. Then I moved the British out via convoy because he currently doesn't... He has a surface action marker and I was kind of like, hey, you want to waste it down... Um, he can't reach me down here. So I did that, and then moved it all the way back over to the west. And then the Convoy in Brest moved into Antwerp. He decided to go ahead and take me on in poor, uh, severe weather. So I'm plus two for British, minus two for being a convoy. Plus one to zero, he rolled a four, halved to a two, two to a one, so we each took a sortie, and that ended that. He comes back in two turns. Then I picked up the BEF along with the convoy, moved it into Gibraltar, and the convoy can get back to Antwerp for one move. And then I take the airplane in the convoy and we move into Gibraltar so that I'm poised and ready for any... Uh, shenanigans that he might have coming along. Um, and then I think I start moving the French. Uh, move the Ninth Army into Antwerp. I move the Alp and the Seventh to south towards Spain. Uh... Basically, I just ran him up. Because we're in severe weather, it's just a matter of math. So I used up all my French airplanes to knock out all the German airplanes. French North African Army, I moved it back a space because I didn't feel like I, I wanted to be in nasty terrain for the Italians. And then I moved the 
moved him to El Alamein in the Western Desert Force back to being able to be picked up by the fleet and the convoy. So I'm trying to make myself as mobile as possible. Just trying to decide if I wanted to be in full supply or low supply, and I took a chance on being in low supply. Uh, the British supply a couple of units here. The guy at El Alamein and uh, the Western Desert Force. Then we go into the Soviet phase here. Again, I think I'm just moving armies kind of up to the front. Not a lot of brilliant moves here for the Russians. <clears throat> I think I decided not to move that guy because I was going to bring in some airplanes or something. I'm not sure exactly. We'll see. Uh, we go through the no supply phase. Now we get to replacements. And the Axis is going to be over here doing his airplanes again for nine. Production points. Um, the West currently only has 10 production points. Oh, this is us getting the Germans in the right place. Um, Three on that convoy in Gibraltar. The French cleaned up that and their airplanes. Soviets, I believe they do a couple of their guards, their shock armies or something. Yeah. And then And then the Belgians got built. Oh. Hands get. Didn't leave from too much clipping in here. I put the Belgians back in Belgium. Uh, he kills it again and they'll be collapsed, but um, I'd love to have him kill them and not take a city because then we could actually see the case where you're collapsed but not conquered which would be a nice instructive thing, so I might try to arrange that. Uh, what am I doing that for? So now we're in the mobilization phase for the Soviets. And, uh... I don't know why that went forward. They move an airplane out. And some armies. Now we're in the diplomatic phase. So bring up the cup and Germans <coughs> spent five, pulled and got a pro axis marker. And I'm not sure what he did here. Oh, I know. Um, the reason why the Italian pro marker in Rome went away is when I conquered Iraq, I get to take one marker off the board. So I took the one out of Italy. And then in the diplomacy phase, of course, I got a political failure, which he put in Spain. Now I got a political success. I thought he might be activating Spain. But he said, well, you've, you know, you're prepped for Spain. You have real units in Gibraltar and all this. So he instead went and took that and just dropped it in Rome and said, never mind, I'll just make these guys threaten to come into the war. So now I'm... 
the west, goes ahead and pulls in. At least I got one of his pro axis markers out of the way. So we put that back into the turn track. And I believe with... Oh, this is me checking to see what's in there. There's a success and a pro western and two no events. And I was like, uh, I'm not sure I want the Soviets to pull and get rid of that western success. So I put the political failure and a no event back in there. So there's very little chance that the Germans will get a success. Equal chance of success is to getting a failure. And we're just diluting the cup because, you know, perfectly honest, if it stayed like this for the rest of the war, I would be very, very happy. Uh, no Italy, no Spain. I really don't want to deal with them. But there's a lot of turns to go, so I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, so now we're to end of turn. So this is going to be a relatively quick turn. Uh, we're going into January of 42. So we're going to pick up the Germans, get up the ground support. They get two ground supports, and that's all they get. Now, stuff happens here for the Soviets. They get a Lend-Lease. And that goes six turns out. And then they also got a Partisans, which I put over there. And then they get an airplane that they can possibly build. So now they have four aircraft. One's on the board, three in the bucket to build. So I'll have four aircraft when they get to the end of 42, hopefully. <clears throat> I have a lot of other units coming up here, too, so I'm going to have to start paying attention to my builds for my Russians. And we're now in January of 1942. And... Well, I think we're just readjusting this. That's the end of the turn. So, not a lot happened. You know, he tried to Tried to take back his uh, city up here in France. Um, hard to do in severe weather. I mean, best he can get is a retreat. And I think he was hoping to get a retreat and sort of push my line back and make me think about what I really wanted to do. Uh, as of right now, we're, you know, it's going to be poor or severe come February. So, and that I believe is going to be our next turn. Um, with this video, I have now caught up with all the past turns um, for this east front scenario so you can go back and look at them i will probably be creating a playlist for all of these so that you can just have one list to to scroll through and and pick them up um yeah it's an interesting interesting war i've got a lot of threats that i have to deal with uh one of the reasons why i did what i did here is i put i didn't want to lose gibraltar and i put by putting the Gibraltar guy in Casablanca, I have multiple ways of taking on Spain. Um, yes, the French front is a little bit tight right now, uh, but we don't have to worry about fair weather until possibly March, and that's when I think I will probably make a move here to uh, change up the defenses. And so... We will see you will see that in the next videos coming forward how I have to try and handle all these multiple threats um, things are you know things are tense the US will bring me a fleet and a convoy in March but I won't see their unit until October uh, but I do get I believe let's check um, I get the upgrade for the Western Desert Force or BEF in September and is it May no. June, July. In July, I will get the first Canadian to be able to be built. So I just have to hold out for a little while. April, I get the Bomber Command. And in the U.S., you know, doesn't help a lot when they first come in. They don't really get a ground unit or any air units or anything to help me out until the end of the year. So it's going to be a while. I'm going to be on my own through the summer of 42 um, it will be nice to have the American fleet around because it will help in uh, supply. So it'll be a little bit less build points on the British 
side having to be spent to keep things in supply and whatnot. I'm hoping I can get either Spain or um, Italy not to activate. Like if I can get rid of this pro marker, then I can you know, relax a little bit, maybe send the Western Desert Force back up to Antwerp. Um, it would be really nice to have a British unit along this line, but the French army is pretty pretty strong. Um, will it hold up to you know multiple Panzer attacks? Probably not, but I don't think you're going to see him be able to break through and completely conquer France anytime quickly, as long as I can get rid of some of these threats here and have some extra units on the front line. We'll see how it goes. Um, so, until we meet again, I am Dren608. Uh, if you like my videos, please subscribe. Hit that like button so that the algorithms keep them fresh and relevant. And I will see you with the next video when it gets built. Um, like I said, I am caught up on my two campaigns, so now they will probably come out about once a week uh, based on when we play. And... Um, you know, enjoy. Until then, stay safe and bye-bye.